Hey everyone, it's me, Terry, of the Yarn Joy podcast. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 24. Okay, so for my mini project today, following along with Laura's tutorial, and her channel name is Happy Berry Crochet, I did the little gnome wizard. No, she called it gnome wizard, yeah. <laughs> He cute <laughs> he's got pointed ears kind of like Spock <laughs> or, or yeah or elves or something <laughs> um, anyway he's really cute he's uh, hollow under the bottom um, this is actually the second time I did this did this pattern the first one I actually crocheted a circle at the bottom and stuffed this bottom part and sealed it off and I may go ahead and do that uh, but he does stand up well so I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. <laughs> anyway, he's really cute. And I made him with uh, baby yarn, and I used a 2.5 millimeter hook. And it was a little bit of a long, longer tutorial, but it wasn't really that difficult. It's just tiny little pieces to put together, but not bad. So, anyway, so that's my project for today. On to the trivia questions. From yesterday, number one was true or false, the Barbie doll first appeared in an astronaut uniform to commemorate Sally Ride's 1983 space shuttle mission, the first undertaken by an American woman. So is that true or false? And that was false. Barbie got her astronaut on, or, you know, he, she was, came dressed as an astronaut, whatever, <laughs> in 1965, nearly 20 years before Sally Ride uh, wore her astronaut uniform. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay, so question number two was, what's the full name of Wizard of Oz author L. Frank Baum. So what did the L stand for? Was it A. Lawrence, B. Lyon, C. Lyman, or D. Leonard? And that one was C. Lyman. Okay, it's spelled L-Y-M-A-N. Okay. Okay, so number three from yesterday was which of the following doesn't belong and why a peter pan b charlie brown c rudolph the reindeer d rocky the flying squirrel or and e or e superman and the answer to that one was b charlie brown because all of the others can fly <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so the questions for today, number one, what was the original name of the Nike Corporation? Was it A, Apollo Sports, B, Blue Ribbon Sports, C, Gold Medal Sports, or D, Olympia Sports? Okay. Number two, Saturday Night Live premiered on October the 11th, 1975. Who was its first ever celebrity host? Was it A, Desi Arnaz, B, Candace Bergen, C, George Carlin, or D, Bob Newhart? And number three for today. How many golf balls are there on the moon? Okay, so on to the Q&A section. Lee Reedman and Julie Speck both asked me about this, so um, here you go. <laughs> uh, Lee asked me about the owls in the background. I have, well, there's two of them. I don't know if you can see them. One of them's back there, a little squatty short one, but I put, I'll pull this one up to the uh, front so I can tell you about it. Okay, so she asked me about the one with the needles in it. So it's the one with these long needles. And I'm going to pull this out. Sorry for all the rattling. Okay, 
So this is the owls that she was asking me about. And Julie Speck is also was also asking me if there was a pattern for this. Okay, so what I did is I used a pattern from Crystal of Bagoday Crochet. Okay, well she had, um, and I will link that that tutorial in the description box below. Okay, so she had an owl tote bag pattern. And so what I did is I followed her pattern, but I adapted it. I adapted it to what I needed to use it for. So I had these containers. I don't know if you can see. See, it's a ugh, it's a plastic container. I have I have a loom needle ho uh, hooks, picks, or whatever loom knitting. Yeah, loom knitting picks in there. But anyway, um, it was a plastic uh, container, and I think it had. I'm trying to look at the label. I think it had uh, protein powder in it or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, so I was looking for containers that I could use in here in my craft room to put hooks or, or like in, for the, in this case it was knitting needles. Um, and so what I did is I found hers and right that time owls like was like really popular decoration. And so I saw that owl tote bag and I thought, oh, maybe I could use it and adapt it to this container. So what I did is because in that tote bag tutorial, you start out <laughs> with a circle. See that? Everything's rattling in there, sorry. Um, you start out with the circle and you just do the circle. Well, I can't remember because I didn't follow hers. I mean, I followed how she did the circle, but all I did was I kept matching it up to my container to make sure that it covered the bottom of it, okay? And then I stopped because I knew that that's how, that is the diameter that I needed. And then I started working up just like she did on the tote bag pattern, okay? And then, of course, the, the uh, crocodile stitches this is just scrap yarns that I had and I followed exactly how Crystal said to do it in the tutorial from the crocodile stitches did exactly and so from then on I followed her pattern until I got up to the top and so I, I kept trying it on um, the jar <laughs> and then when it got up to the top where it was covering the top of my container then I did uh, um, a row, I think, yeah, of decreases, or round, of decreases, and that helped kind of close it in over the top of the container, okay, to just kind of cover it up, okay, and then I did the ears, I think these were just the way Crystal did hers, and then of course I didn't put the strap on it, uh, but the eyes were Crystal's pattern, and I believe even, yeah, how she did the, the beak, so anyway, that's how it is, and, um, it would, I, I, I can't do a tutorial really because it's not my pattern, it's crystals. So just go over to crystals and, and like I said, I'll link it below and then you just follow it. But like I said, the only way I adapted it is to change the circle just to wherever the diameter of the container was. Uh, see, this one was a tall one. I also did, let me grab this one. I did this one. This one was little. And it's a mason jar. So this one's actually glass inside. Um, but that was a mason jar. Okay. And then I have another container. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll try to reach it back here. <laughs> um, I should have done. I should have took them all down in the beginning, and I didn't. Sorry. See, this one was uh, short, and but bigger around. It has my my. Well, that's a flower loom, but it has my pom-pom makers in there, <laughs> and I think this was probably a protein powder or something. I don't know, but if something had printed label, I couldn't get the label off of it. So anyway, I did it the same way. This one was just a larger, make sure they don't fall out, a larger circle to begin with, and then I just did the same thing following until I got up to the height that I needed. Well, you know, up so far, and then I allowed for this amount so I could put the eyes on it. So anyway, that is the story of my owl containers. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, Fabergé 
yeah, Fiberge, I think, Crochet, asked me, uh, she was wondering how do I decide what my next mini project is. i just been doing it randomly, pretty much. Uh, I'll look to see how long the video is, the time, how many minutes or whatever, and if I feel like I have, um, if it's not a real busy day, then I'll, I'll pick one of the ones that are longer in duration to do. Uh, like yesterday, the one I did was the maple leaf was very quick because, like I said, it was my grocery shopping day. So I just picked one that I think it was like 15 minutes or 12 minutes or something video. And so that's pretty much. <laughs> Besides that, i just been kind of doing random things that I've been picking very, you know, and no, don't do like a whole bunch of animals in a row or whatever. I try to vary what I'm, what kind of object the mini project is. So that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Linda Jean House asked me what my favorite holiday to crochet for and or to celebrate. Well, I probably have to say Christmas. Um, Christmas is always, you know fun to crochet for. You're making gifts for people, but also you have all the Christmas decorations. I've been, uh, last couple of years I've done one or a few Christmas amigurumis that I've used for decor around my house during Christmas, and I'll just make one or two or whatever, and then add to them each year. I'll make another one the next year like that. And so it's always fun, um, to crochet for that holiday, I think. Also, though, um, Thanksgiving, fall, like I did that. That was a design that I, a corner to corner design that I did, that banner there. And uh, of course I did that, but that's a repeat crafter me uh, pattern, that fall wreath. So I would say Thanksgiving um, would be a close second after uh, Christmas, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, and Trisha Faria, Faria, I'm not sure if I pronounced your name right. Sorry if I didn't do it right, Trisha. Uh, she asked me. Oh, she is was a new. She is a new subscriber. So thank you so much, Trisha, for subscribing. Um, and she said that she had been binge watching my videos from the beginning to catch up. <laughs> and uh, she said that I had mentioned wanting to crochet a nativity set. Um, and wanted to know if I did it or if I was still going to do it. I, I would like to, but the, here's the thing about that. Okay, so I got two patterns. One was for the basic, um, you know, Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. And then the other one was a pattern that had, like, the wise men and, and some animals and things. Anyway, I got two, both p parts of that pattern. They were paid for pattern, uh, I think, from Annie's crochet anyway um and so i purchased the patterns and i had planned because of the, all the little pieces i thought oh well i could work on that throughout the year and do one little character at a time per month or whatever and then i'd have the nativity set and i thought that would be a great project to do well i got to looking at the patterns and i realized that the you use worsted weight yarn and so the characters were going to turn out really tall like 10 12 inch you know like a big set a whole lot bigger than I have space for because I was thinking well where would I where would I set it out at or arrange it um so people you know as my uh, part of my Christmas decor and I really didn't feel like I have a place to put that big of a set. And so I just didn't do it. Um, I need to find some smaller, a smaller set maybe, you know, not as big, um, and do that. So I may, I may still do that, but, um, I just haven't done it. I haven't got a plan for it now, so, um, but it, it might, it, I might do it. I, I still think it'd be a cool thing to do, so. So Cheryl asked me, how I decide on the name for my channel. Uh, well, I guess because first I thought to have something with crochet in the name, but then I thought, well, I do like to knit just, just a tiny bit, and so I didn't want to just say just crochet, although I do crochet like 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> But, um, and then I thought, well, I just, I like yarn, too. And so I thought, well, uh, yarn makes me happy. And so I was kind of 
trying different name, different words out, yarn happy, and it seemed like I looked that up, and it seemed like there was other channels by that name or something. I'm not sure, and then, and then somehow I just yarn joy came to me, and so I just decided, okay, yarn joy, and so that's how that came about, <laughs> and then podcast. Okay, I know this is technically it's not a podcast. And, and sometimes I think, well, maybe I should just change my name and just have it be Yarn Joy and then just leave it at that. So I might do that. I might do that. I'm so used to saying Yarn Joy Podcast, you know, so <laughs> it would be hard for me to break that habit. Um, but the reason I put podcast on the in the beginning is because um, I used to watch, which I, I have gotten way behind on their videos, but... I used to watch the Bakery Bears podcast, uh, Bakery Bears channel, um, and they are all knitting, but I just love, you know, I just love listening to them talk and back and forth. It's a, it's a married couple, and they both knit, and uh, I just, I just love listening to them, and so I used to watch them faithfully, you know, and, and like I said, I've gotten way behind on their videos, though, now, uh, but they called their channel Bakery Bears Podcast, I think. And so I guess I just thought, well, I guess maybe a mine should have podcast in the name. So that's where it came from. Although I do know it's not a podcast because a podcast is audio only. So what do y'all think? Maybe I should change it and just have it be Yarn Joy. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, that's just, that's where the name came from. <laughs> okay, one more, one more question and then um, we'll, we'll call it a day. So, uh, Laverna Pfeiffer asked me about my Yarn Joy banner back there. She wanted to know if I did a video on it. And um, I believe I did. It was back when I was first doing corner-to-corner -corner things, I think. Um, and when I first came up with my name. But anyway, uh, it's just a corner-to-corner -corner that I did. And then the owl, I even tried to do corner-to-corner -corner the image of the owl right there. Um, but... I was having a hard time getting it to be where it, where it looked good, but it was on the same scale as the letters. And so I just found a applique, uh, an owl applique, and I just followed it. It was a tutorial here on YouTube, and I will try to find it. Um, ooh, I'll try to find it <laughs> and link it in the description box below. So it... it um, yeah, so that's where I got that applique, and then the rest of it, though, is just um, corner to corner, and I graphed out the letters. I found the block letters um, somewhere, I don't know. Um, I think it was something on Perler Bead Letters or something on Pinterest, and I found one that I liked and that didn't have, that the letters weren't real, real tall, but I liked the way the shape of them were, and then so I just graphed it out on paper and figured out how how to uh, do it <laughs> corner to corner, and then my husband uh, put it up there for me. So that's all I did. <laughs> okay, so thanks so much, guys, for coming by and visiting today on day uh, Vlogtober, day 24. So we will uh, come back tomorrow, and then we'll have another visit for Vlogtober, day 25. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.